In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to create what are often referred to as 128s. These are instances of a sampler with anywhere up to 128 samples in them that allow for easy sound replacement in real time that doesn't interrupt your workflow and allows you to audition sounds in the context of your mix. The reason 128 is the maximum number of unique options is that there are 128 MIDI channels and therefore 128 options for the chain selector in each instance of sampler, but I'll demonstrate that in one minute. So here we have a drum rack with a kick, snare, and hi-hat all on their own pad and each in a simpler instrument, which is created by default when you drag a sample onto a drum pad. I have a very simple beat going using these three elements. Let's say I want to give myself the option to replace the snare drum at any point in the songwriting process. So I'll create a sampler palette or 128 for the snare. There's no reason why you can't do this for every sound in the beat. And in fact, I recommend putting together your own 128s of go-to sounds that you can load up whenever you begin a project. It really speeds up the writing process. Okay, so let's hear the beat and begin the process. Again, notice that the beat is made of three elements, the kick, snare, and hi-hat, each on their own pad in the drum rack. So the first thing we want to do is convert the instrument containing the snare from a simpler to a sampler. We'll need the mapping capabilities of a full sampler instrument to achieve our result. So scroll over the instrument and control click on Mac or right click on PC and choose the convert simpler to sampler option. Notice that when we open the zone tab, it shows our one snare sample mapped across the entire MIDI range by default. Now let's choose a selection of samples that will become our 128. I'll probably drag about 50 something samples into the sampler for this demo, so we won't be taking advantage of every single MIDI channel. So I go to my library on the left, and for this demo I'll choose some snare sounds from the Wave Alchemy Drum Tool Library. Uh, it's a very highly recommended collection, it's really cool. I select the first sample and scroll to the bottom, hold shift and select the last sample, thereby selecting all the samples in the folder, then I drag them into my sampler. Notice it says now we have 57 samples in our sampler. Now open the Zone tab, and within the Zone options, choose the Selector view. Notice how the numbers on the Chain Selector go from 0 to 127, and how by default, each sample zone is mapped across the entire range. Now select all the samples within the sampler. Command-A on Mac or Control-A on PC will do. Now, control click or right click and choose the option Distribute Ranges Equally. Now, notice that the zones for each sample are confined to a few MIDI channels and none of them overlap, meaning that none will play at the same time. Now, let's play our beat again and use the chain selector to scroll through our sample in real time. Notice as we go every few MIDI channels, a new snare sound plays. Now, you can imagine being able to use this process at any point while writing a song. You can audition sounds in real time in the context of your full mix without having to stop and fumble around with the fuller tree on the left side of the Ableton display. The chain selector can be moved manually or it can be assigned to a MIDI knob uh, on your MIDI controller so you can scroll through. This is a pretty basic demonstration of what you can do with the sampler instrument in Ableton. Check back on lynchaudio.com for more demos to come.